Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are painting the cone flower for day 23 of our 30 days of watercolor flowers. It is pretty similar to the daisy but it has its own unique twist so let's get started. And I am coming off of a cold so my voice sounds super weird. Sorry about that in advance. I feel much better but if only my voice could catch up with me right? <laughs> So what makes a cone flower a cone flower is that it has a very distinctive center that is pretty much a cone shaped and it's really big and the center of attention in this flower. And when I was looking at reference pictures, the center is kind of dark, but when it has highlights, it looked orange in some of the flowers. So I started with the orange and then I added some brown for the shadowing making sure to kind of keep it speckly looking so that we could have some white space and have distinction and we could still understand what the texture looked like for that center cone. Also another distinctive part about a cone flower is that the petals really just droop down. So with a daisy, they kind of all fan outward at an even level plane, right? But with the cone flowers, they just droop down, which gives that cone in the center even more prominence. So we've created that big cone, and now I'm taking a purple violet type color, and I'm just touching it to that yellow orange center and just using one stroke with my brush to create these beautiful long petals. And they're very similar to daisy petals, but the look of it is just very unique and different. And I'm painting those little petals along the side to again give that illusion that we're seeing a petal that's curved or we're seeing only part of it. And as I'm listening back to my voice, I'm sorry, I'm not crying. I'm really having a great day. <laughs> I just wish my voice didn't sound weird. <laughs> But I am doing the same thing up on the right side here, creating a cone flower that's faced upward. And now I'm creating kind of a immature, like teenage flower, I think, where the cone hasn't quite formed and it does look more like a daisy. So I was looking at some of these smaller flowers and they have different looks. And this is another immature type flower where the petals were all standing up but the center was really flat and so I just thought it would be fun to show you a few different variations that you could do within a bouquet but still be within that coneflower style. And now on to the greenery and so the greenery on the coneflower is actually really simple nice thin even smooth stems and they have really nice simple leaves also. And so for the leaves, I'm using my one stroke technique where I'm using very light pressure with the tip of my brush to create the end of the leaf and then pushing down on the brush to create the fullness of the leaf, letting off on the pressure to create the tip that comes together and meets at the stem. And now one of my favorite parts is when I go through at the end and I just add a darker pigment of green for details, dimension, kind of going through the painting and fixing everything up, adding those little pops of color and shadow that just really bring the whole composition together and adds more detail and interest to the piece. And I also can't forget to add the center to our little immature cone flower up here on the left either. For the centers of the flowers, adding a darker contrasting color to one side of the center, like on the left side here, will really give the illusion that light is coming from the right side because that's where our highlights are. So that just adds a lot of interest, a lot of depth to your paintings.
And now that we have practiced our cone flower, I'm adding it to my watercolor flower guide. And I love this purpley violet color and the shape and the texture of the cone flower. It's a perfect addition to our guide. Thank you so much for being here today and listening to my voice as we painted cone flowers. I am so excited to show you tomorrow with day 24. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.